Today is July 31st, which is also Harry Potter's birthday. It is also JK Rowling's birthday. And more importantly, today, Universal Studios Orlando Resort just announced Epic Universe's brand new land. The last land to be announced, actually. And it is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Ministry of Magic. We are going to take a deep, deep dive into all the details that I can officially confirm and talk about for this land today in this video. So stay tuned. Let's just jump right into the video that I just released. It's about six minutes long. I'm going to let it play out. I might pause it here and there to talk a little bit about it. And then we're just going to jump into way more details that they um, just have announced because there is a lot. So without further ado, let's start right now. Universal Epic Universe is the next theme park for Universal Orlando Resort and will feature five astounding worlds that go beyond anything oh. you've ever experienced before. In the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Ministry of Magic, you'll explore multiple eras of oh magical my God, look at that. and wonder. There are very few movies my entire family would come together to watch. Oh, I know Harry her. Potter was one of them. We love the Fantastic Beast films because it gave us a more global view and a chance to step into another era of the Wizarding World. We really felt that we owed our guest the expansion of the Wizarding World. It all began with Hogsmeade, bringing the village and Hogwarts castle to life, then Diagon Alley, creating the magical hidden streets of London, and now with Epic Universe, guests will experience even more adventures inspired by both of these beloved film series. We're bringing to life Wizarding Paris from the Fantastic Beast film and the British Ministry of Magic from the Harry Potter films. As guests walk through the portal, they're instantly transported to 1920s Muggle Paris, mm. where they pass through the Phoenix Arch that takes them to Place Caché in Wizarding Paris, inspired by the Fantastic Beast film. We built two scale streets in Paris. This is the biggest thing we've ever built. Our shortest building is taller than the tallest building in Diagon Alley. It's going to be overwhelming with all of the whimsy and charm you've come to learn and expect from the Wizarding World, but with an all-new Parisian twist. The streets of Place Cachet are so alive with activity. There are shops and restaurants to explore, with nods to fantastic beasts throughout. You can just feel magical Paris surrounding you. Being able to smell the French cuisine at Café Lair de la Salle, hearing the different music that we have playing in the background that's both wizarding and French, there's a lot. And of course we're serving bière au beurre, or butterbeer as everyone mm -hmm. knows it. In Britain, you may get chosen by a wand and oligators. But here in Paris, you go to Cosme Acajou, the premier wand maker, famous for exquisite pop couture designs. With your wand, you can cast spells, Play with fantastic beasts on the loose throughout the streets. Seeing a kid in a robe turn to his mom and yell, I'm a wizard! <laughs> That's literally what we strive for. In the heart of Wizarding Paris, guests will find an incredible show, Le Cirque Arcanou. They'll go on a journey of excitement, surprises, and compassion as they encounter fantastic beasts they know and love. The show is mind-blowingly cool. You're mm -hmm. going to just be amazed at this beautiful theater that exists within this tent. This is the first time we've created a full-scale indoor show for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. We have aerialists, special effects, puppetry, and so much more coming together. It's going to be really fun for guests to see some of the creatures come to life. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm most excited <laughs> to build the Ministry of Magic. And with the help of the Flu Network, guests get to journey from Wizarding Paris to London to embark on this incredible adventure inside the British Ministry. You see those numbers? 902, 905, those top numbers? Keep that in mind. I'm not going to say anything about it today, but just keep those in mind. I will announce or talk about those a little bit further out when we have an opening day and when we are there just so that way I don't get in any trouble but keep those numbers in check because it's really cool. You go through these giant fireplaces and you journey through the Metroflow which is Wizarding Mass Transit that we collaborated with the filmmakers to create. 
It's a multi-sensory experience. The gas will be fully engulfed. It really mimics the flames flying up around them. It's fun. <laughs> and finally, you arrive to the iconic British Ministry of Magic. You're going to see what you saw in the films at full scale. And now yeah. we have the opportunity to act. So you're going to see exactly that. Like, it's insane. Into the ministry at a very crucial... So this right here. Insane. Just, just, I um, feel like I'm about to like tear up because of how exact this looks. Moment and help save it. Harry Potter and the Battle of the Ministry is an amazing new attraction. It represents the decades of innovation that the university has created. The story takes place after Voldemort has been defeated. And finally, this is the day in which Dolores Umbridge is standing trial for her crimes against the Wizarding World. As we board our elevator lift, we end up realizing that Umbridge has escaped. The guests join Harry, Ron, and Hermione on a quest to capture Dolores Umbridge and stop her from bringing back the time of Lord Voldemort. Mm -hmm. It's a heart-pounding adventure and is on a scale that we have never attempted before. Huge. We'll be right in the middle of this giant battle against Umbridge and Death Eaters throughout the entire ministry. We're combining so many different and new technologies to bring this adventure to life at a scale never seen before. This is the most ambitious ride we've ever created, and it's an absolute game changer. I was on site and I actually just took a moment to step back and stare at what we're building, because it's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I truly believe from hogs need to diagonally. Diagonally to the Ministry of Magic we've continued to bring the storytelling to the next level. Epic Universe is all about immersing our guests in these larger than life worlds, creating a space the guests are going to make memories in for decades to come is so special. And doing it with stories as powerful as Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast is just a once in a lifetime opportunity that I am so grateful to be a part of. to expand the wizarding world of Harry Potter and bring even more adventures to life for our guests. The addition of this world creates an incredible wizarding world trilogy across Universal Orlando. Yeah, that's right. Get ready, tons of excitement mm -hmm. waits on the other side of the portal at Universal Epic Universe. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Awesome. Okay, so there you have it. There is so much to unpack, but I'm going to take it little by little because there's so much to unpack. And um, I'm going to start off with what Universal, actually not even start with, I'm only going to talk about what Universal has officially confirmed. So let's go to the Universal Epic Universe website, um, which is actually just Universal Orlando website. Let's go here. Uh, here you have all the lands. Uh, Super Nintendo World, Dark Universe, Isle of Burke. Uh, let's go into the Wizarding World, Harry Potter, Ministry of Magic, and go to New Details Revealed. All right, here it is. So I'm going to start by saying the reason why we have both sides of uh, the coin here. We have a 1920s Ministry of Magic and, sorry, a 1920s Paris and a 1990s Ministry of Magic. There is a lot of talk about it. I personally don't agree with why is News Commander here and... Why do we have Harry, Ron, and Hermione here? The Flute Network is not a time-traveling device, so I don't understand it, but there will be some things that will come up as to why it's like that. Creative has done an amazing job in trying to play that out as far as the story is concerned. Uh, so, And also, J.K. Rowling is not going to agree to let this happen without this making any sense so i i'm confident that they have exactly what they need to do to make this make sense so as you heard the ride itself is actually happening actually let's not talk about the ride let's go one by one because i'm trying to just i'm just jumping back and forth and we need a we need a structure here we need structure here from the magical streets of paris to the british ministry of magic from 1920s paris to the 1990s British uh, British Ministry experienced the wonder of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Ma uh, Ministry of Magic opening 2025 at Universal Epic Universe and as always the all the pictures are just renderings okay so here we go tap the right to explore 
All right, who do we got here? All right, we got the calf. As soon as you walk in through the portal, this is what you're gonna be able to see. You're gonna see the, uh, again, I'm not gonna get the names right because these are all French names. So forgive me, I have not learned them yet. Uh, Cafe L'Air de la Serene. Uh, dine indoors or outdoors as you enjoy French inspired fare for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So let's see, let's get some little details here. So this is a dining experience. This isn't, this isn't the only dining experience in the land, but it is a quick service. You have menus, uh, the details of the menu will be coming soon. Uh, we do have alcoholic beverages available. Dine at an authentic French wizarding cafe. The streets of wizarding Paris our home of delight cafes, including cafe, yeah, that that name. Uh, dine in night, inside or outside. Outside, as you enjoy French baked goods, sandwiches, um, plats de jour, and desserts. Uh, you can quench your thirst with butter beer, along with a variety of non-alcoholic and alcoholic beer, or sorry, drinks, including beer, uh, cocktails, and French wines. Um, fun fact that the towering co cox a la creme, towering cox a la creme don't know what that is but uh guests guests to this quince the french uh cafe will be amazed and enticed by the towering dessert displays con oh yes 2000 decorative individual cream puffs you will see more of that later so that is the cafe that is one of the meals the spots to eat at which is really cool so now let's uh let's dive into the second one that they have and that is the cosme a Akajor uh, baguettes magic like like I said horrible French but let's go inside now this is a shop and um, they do offer toys souvenirs collectible gifts this one also just sells wands as well so keep that in mind so inside this shop witches and wizards will find some of the finest wands in the world designed by esteemed artisan and wand maker um, the name Unique's approach to wand lore. Uh huh. So illuminated design overhead, uh, crafted with over 800 crystal wands, and adorned with brass pixies. The chandelier is a wonder to behold, and well suited complement to the remarkable wand designs in the shop, uh, which is super awesome which you guys will have to see and of course given it is the biggest uh wizarding world land in all of universal uh studios this is going to have a large variety of wand locations to cast spells and whatnot so that's it that's 100 percent confirmed uh reveal amazing sites for new interactive wand experiences as you explore the streets of wizarding paris interacting with fantastic beasts and enchanted objects all right, so that's a shop. So we got a we got food, which is actually the best, uh, in my opinion, restaurant, which is that one. As soon as you walk in, the, the first one to the left. Interactive wand experiences, of course, we have a bunch of those. So let's talk about that a little bit. Interactive wand experiences, um, of course, kid-friendly. Uh, wands are coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, cast spells on the streets of wizarding Paris sharpen your spell casting skills with amazing new interactive wand experiences in the wizarding world of Harry Potter Ministry of Magic immerse yourself in the in the magic with interactive wands that enable you to cast spells and interact with, interact with fantastic beasts and enchanted objects throughout the wizarding Paris um, so yes, stay tuned for whenever they decide to show you all of these uh, wand spots. I will be there on day one showing you everything uh, that this doesn't show you. So just stay tuned for that. Just There's a lot of stay tuned for, but we're, we have a lot of information coming to you. So this is, I'm just trying to just vomit all this information out as fast as possible. Guess we'll explore 1920s Wizarding Paris, strolling through the streets uh, with both which boasts the tallest buildings ever built for the wizarding world of harry potter like i said this is the biggest land um and of course being the biggest land these are by far the tallest buildings um that universal has created for the wizarding world of harry potter okay le circus uh le cirque okay cirque le cirque arcanus 
horrible pronunciation, but New Scamander's suitcase filled with Fantastic Beasts is stolen in, his spectac in this spectacular mix of live performers, puppetry, and special effects. All right, so here we go. We got a show type, which is action, kid-friendly, of course, and it's for everyone. In an attempt to bring Lesarchus Arcanus Back to his former glory, Ringmaster Skender has stolen a new Scamander suitcase which contains fantastic beasts from around the globe. It's up to circus employee Gwenlin, Gwenlin to rescue the creatures in this spectacular mix of live performers, amazing puppetry, dazzling, dazzling special effects, and more. There is so much more than just those things, so stay tuned for that once again. Um, so this is actually part of the queue line here. Uh, this isn't the actual um, stage itself. This is just part of the queue line as you enter it through uh, the circus tent. This would be, you know, the actual stage, which they haven't said anything. So I don't want to say what the stage does, but it is awesome. Uh, guests can explore the strange and unusual acts of the Circus Akari, uh, whatever his name is, <laughs> as they stroll past the many sideshow booths on their way to the main stage, where, which the one the slide before, which is this one, is all the little booths that um, are before entering the actual main stage. Um, enjoy the spectacular mix of live performance, or maybe, well, yeah, we already talked about that. Step right up to see the magic, the magical and mysterious. Guests can explore the strange and unusual acts as they stroll past uh, many. Yes, we already talked about that. Uh, there is a better fun fact, which I cannot talk about because they have not announced it yet. But there is a better, way better fun fact about that, that circus uh, tent or that show as a whole. All right, so we got what the last one, which is my favorite, and it is one that I've been working on for some time now, and it is the Harry Harry Potter and the Battle at the Ministry. We officially have an official name, um, as you can see just from here. All the all the the movements um, you can see the fans inside the offices. We have two. Um, fountains one being this middle one here and then the one in the back it's amazing and I just can't wait for you guys to see it because and just go through it it is amazing guys um, okay so soar through the measure of magic as you help Ron Harry and Hermione bring Dolores Umbridge to justice in a breathtaking new adventure <laughs> okay so the height requirement for this ride is 40 inches which is 102 centimeters it is a thrill motion simulation um, and a little dive a little bit closer to that it is quite literally what they like the, the ride vehicle is of course an elevator uh, as shown here and it is what the military essentially uses to fly like simulation uh, for their actual pilots which is amazing join her oh yeah i got this okay so travel by the metro flu from paris to the ministry of magic where dolores umbridge is about to stand trial board a lift and join harry ron and hermione so that's where i have an issue right we just came from 1920s paris um and we are entering through the flu the metro flu entering the british ministry of magic where dolores umbridge is about to stand trial and you have to help harry ron and hermione the flu network is not a time turner it is a teleportation device to go from one era to the other so how is it that you go from the 1920s to now the 1900s late 1900s stay tuned <laughs> again this is one this is something that i've been stressing um and i've said enough about why this makes no sense but we have figured out a way of making it make sense in a way so just stay tuned because since they have not confirmed or announced it i cannot talk about it uh, but stay tuned because yeah okay so as you journey as a journey deep into the ministry's many departments thrilling adventure fantastic beasts and unexplored ministry oh sorry unexplored mystery await in harry potter at the british british ministry of magic so as you can see here we have 
our lovely um, elevator here. We got some ghosts. We have some Death Eaters fighting over here with Hermione over here. See here. And here we have omnidirectional lifts teleport you to the tri to the trial of Dolores Umbridge. And you can see her here, um, just pink all over. Uh, there is a dead body here. Um, you will see that dead body. I could assure you of that one. Um, so you're going to enjoy that one. <laughs> um, and here we have the Fountain of Magical Brethren that has been restored. And the ministry, of, uh, the, the ministry is abuzz with the news of the trial of Dolores Umbridge. Um, so this is actually looking, as, you, as you're walking in, this is now looking uh, as, the way, as you're walking outside um, to the exit flu network which will be over here on the left side so guests will enter through the right station and then the exit will be to the left on this side uh-huh so that is pretty much it let's see if they have any cool fun facts discover the artistry behind the ministry of magic oh sorry behind harry potter's spellbinding spaces both the queue and attraction spaces for harry potter and the battle at the ministry are covered by tiles the Metro Flu alone has over 80,000 subway tiles and the British, British Ministry of Magic uh, spaces have over 125,000 of the iconic uh, colored tiles. And there are different colors of the tiles. So you're not only going to get the green, you will get uh, pink, uh, pink for umbrage, you will get purple. I don't remember what other two they have um oh black you have black i'm missing the last one but yes we do have five colored tiles in the ministry of magic as a whole which is really cool i will be there on opening day at epic universe i will be showing you everything that has to do with the ministry of magic i want to focus mainly on the ministry of magic as i enter day one and onward um so i could just gather all of that and talk to you guys and just give you fun facts and what to do on your first day there and all of that sort on that land and then move to the other lands because the other lands are super cool and really awesome but there's just so much to gather and as i'm a big harry potter fan i have to just dive into the ministry of magic there is a lot to do there's i mean food wand locations new wands um everything everything that has to do with the ministry of magic there's so much to do and i know that first probably month or two are gonna be super hard not only on me but guests as well people are gonna want to just go into that uh, attraction and ride and see the show and do all of that and you will have time to do all of that but there's just so much to um to really dive into that it's gonna take some time to really go through it so bear with me i will be there i will be giving you guys full content on instagram twitter uh tiktok youtube mainly because this is my the way i could spiel give my spiel and talk all i want to instead of just compressing all the information in a short video um I, that's why i love youtube uh so yeah stay tuned for that like always this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new here, hello. My name is Johnny, the Collecting Wizard. I talk about everything Harry Potter and theme park related content on a daily basis. Uh, so without further ado, I'll see you guys inside the Ministry of Magic.